<laughs> ah, since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. <laughs> I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Hey, wait up! Survivors here, Marshal! Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on. Whoa there. Sons of bitches. Bitch, you want to run a gang of outlaws? Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. Unless it's ordered by a court of law, you mean? You know as well as I do, Marshal. One way or another, some men gotta die. Can't see a soul anywhere. This ain't right. All right, boys, let's have a look around.
Nobody's in the shed. No one here. There's no good reason for that to be boarded up. Break that door now. The rest of you, get your guns ready. Holy sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> There'll be a deputy waiting for you. Oh, thank God. You're gonna be Head to the shed in the back as soon as it looks clear. Thank you. They said they were gonna kill us all. Looks all clear, fellas. Let's check up on the farmers. Hellfire. of that bunch. It's fifty dollars. It ain't about the money, Marshal. These are people's lives. People's homes. Man up, boy. We gotta get after those bandits. Hurry, boys. Let's get after them. 
down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! Oh, where's that boy? You ready, boys? Here they come. You clearly don't like me, buddy! Buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is gonna help us get to Bill. <coughs> Ain't you, Norman? <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. <laughs> Fuck you! <coughs> Hog time. Let's get him to jail. Go 
¿Cómo estás? Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. And we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, and terrible winters, cholera. I buried more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiven sun. That whole herd of cattle was take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace. And men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. You're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. And sneaking around and spying and secret missions. It's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie, we got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna need this, Mr. Marston. Let's see if we can put that new lasso of yours to good use. That ranch hand said there's a pack of wild horses nearby. You sure have some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret who sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a dead man's eyes. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy the I know ride? we're only as free as they say we are. Power's like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there are few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland.
That's it! Keep a hold of him We're now! We're there! Get up! I'm waiting for you, Mr. Martin! Lean in! You're doing fine! Oh, on, shit! Boy. I got you now! Come on in, cowboy! Oh, it's all right. Come on, let's go. Let's Here we go. Almost got it. Slow now. Easy. Don't give up. I'll take this one back to the ranch. See you later. Come on, Mr. Marston. Let's rope another one. Whoa. What are you waiting for? Let's go. was saying some horses have been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. No rest for the wicked. Let's see if we can track down that other herd of horses. You never did tell me why you were never married. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure ask a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a catch. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No, that's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors, that's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. A ranch in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countrified. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Miss McFarland? From a couple of cheap governesses Paul hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens sometimes, that's all. And after my brother left, it was up to me to become the man of the ranch. He never admitted, but my paw's a lot frailer than he looks. You're worth two of any man I know, miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. In many ways, my wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. Looks like the ranch hand's up ahead. Come on! 
For your help today, Mr. Marston. We got some fine horses. You know, why don't you keep that stallion as your own, as a thank you from all of us? Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. Kill the whole damn lot of it! 